Here we have a couple of the Glaser and Magnums. I'm gonna be reviewing and comparing two of the same model because even harps that are the same model from a manufacturer tend to vary just a little bit in feel, play, sound, and timbre. Now, both of these harps are from Glazerin. They're flat stainless with spiral loop triggers. The reeds held on by a security screw. They're flat on front and milled out on back. Here we see the front is flat on one, back we have milled out. Gives it kind of that outer spacey signature Glazerin sound. Now they're untuned and one falls somewhere around a D2 and one falls somewhere around a D flat or C sharp. Let's go ahead and let's just run through them and compare them. Good to stamp, good bell ring. The read on it's getting a little bit harder, a little bit stiffer. Try this other one, I think this was the one that fell around D. Pretty good volume. Trigger feels just a tad stiffer, not quite as smooth as the other one. Really moves through the overtones really nice. This one I think was the one that fell around D flat. Good sustain, really outer spacey. Let's go ahead and take them through the paces and we're gonna compare them to an old couple other Glaser and Harps I have laying around. This among a few of the other higher priced Glaserin, they're my favorite of the Glaserin. And this one plays a little bit better than this other one does just because I played it more. I've got probably three hours in playing this one. This other one that's a little bit higher that falls around the D note, but not on the D note. There's a little bit of funk to it. It hits the upper registers though a little bit better, I feel. Because of that stiffer trigger, we can really get it moving. There's not much side play. Even even when I'm stressing the harp and playing it fast, let's see if under put the harp under a little bit of stress, we're gonna play it fast. Good, good read stability. But this is going to be a little bit stiffer of a read. So if, if you don't like stiffer reeded harps, um, I probably wouldn't recommend this, but I'm I'm gradually getting away from uh, the more flexible reed harps and gra and and heading just for the time being right now. I'm heading into more of the stiffer reeded Vargan, and I really do enjoy it. But yeah, if you don't enjoy a stiff reeded harp, this probably wouldn't be for you. But yeah, you get good sensitivity, good output. And it still has pretty good sustain for how stiff it is. A lot to work with. Let's compare it to, oh, a few other harps. Like here's the a star is going to be a lot lower and a lot. The reed is medium stiff, I'd call it. But not quite as much volume. The, the magnum is a louder of the harp. A little bit of extra volume out of the Magnum. And the star is like a longer heart, but the reed, if we look at it, the reed on the Magnum is a little bit longer than the reed on the star. The star, a lot of the star, back part of the star is comprised of the design, which is really cool. We'll compare it to a, like a Batman.
Batman's got a lot more flexible of a tongue on it. Ooh, the tones on them are kind of similar. I think the Batmans fall around somewhere around a D as well. We have this one that was D flat. I don't know which one I'd call louder. Yeah, I'd say the, the Magnum is definitely louder. Oh yeah, the Magnum is definitely louder. Not quite as fast as like a Batman. The Batman has that shorter trigger that you can get moving a little bit easier. But yeah, for how loud this is, this thing's pretty loud. Or <laughs> this thing's pretty fast for how loud it is. We'll run through a uh, good old standby, the rainbow. Yeah, Rainbow has a much more comfortable read on it, especially if you're if you're not used to that stiff, stiff bargain. I would say, yeah, the Magnum's quite a bit louder than even the Rainbow. The tone difference. Yeah, the rain at least this model of Rainbow is a little bit lower. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll compare it to one more. Compare it to the Phantom. And even the Phantom themselves kind of vary a bit. Let's go ahead and we'll grab another Phantom. And the Phantom, of course, is going to be a two tone arp. Here's another Phantom that I have. Just, this is just turning into a harp comparison, I guess. No, they're pretty similar. It feels a little bit lower. Then, of course, Phantoms have a ball trigger. Ah, a little ball that you put in the trigger. It turns it into a deeper bass. So yeah, the Phantoms with the ball in are definitely the bassiest. We'll compare it to one of my other favorite Glazerin harps, the Phantom. If I've got a Phantom floating around here, I'll just grab one. We'll grab a couple. And we have a couple Phantom. We're gonna go ahead and run through the Phantoms. Phantom's a little bit more flexible, reeded. Yeah, Phantom is another one of my favorites. This Phantom, the Magnum, Ooh, those two almost have the exact same tone. I like that. I'd say the tone's about the same, but the timbre is what changes. Yeah, these Magnum is probably one of the more powerful Glazerin harps. More, more volume. I wouldn't say more sensitivity because all the all the Glazerin harps after you get a, above the sixty or seventy dollar range. They get really, really sensitive. Um, for a stiff reader that moves fast, I'd give this, uh, oh, probably a 96 out of 100 for it, for harps in its price range. And I say if you're a big fan of the Glazerin harps and you're wanting to move up into the more expensive Glazerin, this is, this is definitely a harp that you would enjoy, especially if you're looking to read to move toward that stiffer reeded bargain. And that's that's an area that I've been growing in because stiffer reeds are just they just have a different feel to them. You can you can punch your breathing more into the back pressure. And there's a little bit of breath and breathing into these as well. And when you get them moving and when you get them resonating, they really, really sing. They get really loud and I might end up waking my wife who's sleeping upstairs. Uh, but yeah, this is this is an A, A to A plus hard from Glazer. And really enjoy it, really dig it. Um, has really good read stability. You can really get this one moving. Has great volume, good sensitivity. It's got a little bit of that breath in there. Uh, 
Good for that breathless play. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can get any percussives out of it. It really responds well to the percussives, especially with that stiff reed. We don't have a reed that's too flexible and too saturated that's overwhelming our percussives. So your percussives, even though it's really loud, your percussives can really shine through on it. Good sustain, good tone. Yeah, 96 out of 100 for this. I very much dig it. This, the Phantom, or this, this one, Phantom, Alpha, the Petrol, the Star, um, they're going to be my favorite of the Glazerin under that. Uh, I also do like the uh, much less expensive Batman, but yeah, this is one of my favorite Glazerin. So yeah, this this one definitely gets my seal of approval. And if you're, if you're into the Glazerin style, I would highly suggest it. But if you're a beginner for a first harp, I would not suggest this harp because the reed's going to be stiff. You're probably going to find it uncomfortable. You're going to suffer a, a lot of jaw fatigue. This is probably something as a beginner that you'd go, go into later after you, you know, after you build up your tolerance to playing stiffer reeded harps. But if you've got a, if you've got an iron jaw or a glass jaw, go ahead and go right to this. Uh, anyways, that's going to be it for my review of the Glazer and Magnum. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Adios.